Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So last week I made a home for 8 Sims and I wanted it at first to use the starter home price except it just got too big so I'm trying again. So with 8 Sims you start off with 34,000 simoleons but obviously we have to have the lap value included so we only have 32,500 simoleons to spend and I thought you know what we probably should play on the smallest lot because realistically they cannot afford a backyard. So we have our eight sims here. I am not actually building for them. They're just there. I think a smart thing to do is to place all the furniture we want. So obviously for the parents, it would be nice if they could have a double bed. I don't know what the vibe we're going for, but this is 445. The worst bed we could get is 290. I think this one is actually pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one. And we wanna have the smallest rooms as possible. So in order order to do that I think we need to do bunk beds so that's six people and I was thinking that maybe we could do two infants because the cribs are only 150 the toddler bed is 160 so that's only saving 10 simoleons well actually this one is also 150 so we could do an infant and a toddler I'm just gonna put these in the back so that way they are already paid for actually no hold on a minute these are quite expensive I should probably choose one of the cheapest bunk beds which this is 600. This is a thousand. Okay, well, that sucks. I do not like that. And also, some other important things is a bathroom. So, we would need this. We would need a potty. I mean, there's only a five million difference. We probably should get like the cheapest sink. And since we have a toddler and an infant, it would be good to have a bathtub, but you can always wash them up in the sink. You just have to do it multiple times. So, I would love for this to be only one story. And I think I'm gonna kind of build it weird. I'm gonna build it by the bedrooms. So this fits a double bed. And then for the bunk beds, we could do something like that. That makes the room like extremely small. I think that's very unnecessary, but I mean, we're on a budget, you know? I think their toys can be in the living room if we have enough space. I think I might actually put this room on a diagonal. Maybe this would be better for the bunk beds because like at least they have a little bit more room. And then the infant and the toddler can be in this room. And then this could just be the bathroom. So I mean, it's kind of weird but I think we could be able to make this work but honestly I would love to make it look full so that way it doesn't look like it's empty because it looking empty is also bad so that's the front I feel like this part is a little too thick I don't know if I want to make it smaller I don't think that's good for the bathroom what if the bathroom like pokes out a little bit that gives us a little bit more space on the inside and then we have to worry about the roof back here what if I move this back does that make it a little bit bit more cuter I guess that's fine like it's not that serious so we don't have a hallway which is kind of a good thing because we don't want to waste money on that these high school years doors is $50 each and there's kind of like a door everywhere so that's really not good this is definitely weird of what I'm trying to do with the bunk beds but I don't know they don't need to be exactly next to each other and then that means the door would have to go right here and then of course we're going to use like the cheapest flooring so I think that's just four simoleons what if we did like a reddish wood tone that's so ugly i hate that wood tone color i don't think today is the day to like try this out oh actually that's too expensive anyways and we also need a front door of course i would also love to put this on a foundation and it could be on one height so that way we don't have to pay for stairs and i'm also thinking that maybe there's like a side entrance this door is 50 dollars, so i'm gonna go ahead and use it and then maybe the kitchen can like wrap around this side so we're sitting at twenty three thousand. mind you we don't have any windows but I would love to use these counters because they look so good and then maybe we can put the door over a little bit more because it doesn't need to be in the middle so that way we could possibly fit a fridge right here I'm definitely spending way too much money like if I'm gonna use these counters I need to go for a cheap fridge so I'm thinking this will go right here and then we just need a sink this is just five simoleons cheaper so I think I'll just use this one because I think it looks a little bit more better it would be nice if they did have some type of dining room space but the thing is I don't think that's gonna fit and then we could possibly get like a couch on this side and then this is where the tv would go and that would be fine it would be very nice if they could have like a tv we do have our bathroom to put in beautiful and now I think I probably should put windows in because the money is just escaping us so it would probably be nice to have two windows in the front one above the sink is nice 
and then one in each bedroom. And these windows are cheap, so that's also good. For some reason, when you place windows, the room tends to get a little bit darker. So I just, I don't know if I want to spend money on an extra light. Oh, I never used this green before. Maybe I should pick the home color based on the door color we go for. I would love for this to be colorful, but I don't know if it can be considering the options we chose. Maybe I'll use this roof. I think this roof looks better. And then for the siding, I would love for it to be yellow or we could go for this yellow from growing together, but I like this one because it's lighter. So I think I might move this a lot to be more, I guess, kind of in the middle, but I am also considering making this room a little bit bigger just because like, I don't really like the roof situation. So I'm trying to fix that. I think it's like mainly this part I don't like. What if this part was just flat? We could put a trim around it. I don't know, maybe that's okay. And then it would be good to have an accent wall. So we could do like stone. Maybe we could try a brick. I mean, I think the brick does look better. But what if we did like a white brick? I think that's good. I just don't know if I like the windows. Yeah, I think the windows are the issue. I think the roof is also just a little bit too tall. So I'm gonna try to shrink them. I think shrinking it helped. Why does picking windows have to be so difficult? But I also think if we get planter boxes, that will help. Ooh. I do like this flower box. It has pretty colors. This is interesting too. I might change the color scheme. I feel like this door is the right color, but it has yellow. Well, this door is cottage living, so of course it matches, but I've been going for like a completely different style this whole time. Do I just change up the style? I could. I could go for this brick. Just a nice little cottage. That means we're gonna have to change the windows again. Maybe I'll filter to cottage living. Ooh, these windows do match. That's so cute how much is this forty dollars each well i guess i could save money if i got this version then because this is just ten more dollars that is so cute okay i'm definitely liking this is there a 20 by 15 in comfort on bagley because i kind of want to like bring this over there so that way we are in the right location that's so pretty we could probably change up the kitchen so those were two hundred dollars these are 175 so these are cheaper i don't think this is like exactly the right color but like it's the only one that matches like that's the closest we're gonna get we could just do brown i guess like maybe this brown is not that bad and then we could use like this stove okay so this is a 20 by 15 so i sold the furniture and everything and i get 37.91 back and i don't think that's right i think we're supposed to get 32500 back okay so i just cheated my money up but yeah the lighting is not the best yeah i guess this is the best we're gonna get and we have eighteen thousand dollars left Okay, that is good. So I think it definitely looks better in this world. So let's do our kitchen. And I'm wondering, I know Cottage Living has a sink. This is 150. This sink is 130. This counter is 175. So getting this would be cheaper actually. That is perfect. The window does clip with the stove a little bit. So I'm gonna raise it up by one. I'm just gonna delete all this stuff too. And I'm wondering how much the Cottage Living couch is. I'm pretty sure it's like 500 simoleons, which honestly, I don't know if I wanna spend that amount but we can try because that is the right color and then for the kids room we probably should figure out a color scheme i'm just very unsure because i don't really like these beds like i just don't like them they're so ugly to me i mean this is 240 so that's actually cheaper and then part of me is wondering what if we had two kids and we had like twin toddlers and twin infants or maybe maybe there's like one infant and then there's like a newborn obviously having the newborn is not fun but this is what we're working with and i guess the toddler room could be like this maybe very unsure but i'm gonna place the rest of the windows i will say like this window is very high up which i don't like but that's just because of the kitchen like i would have it lower if i could i guess it doesn't matter if it clips that much it's not that serious and i think we have all the windows we need i feel like this beginning part has taken me too long i would love to get like a fun rug color what if we use the growing together one i feel like i always use this rug but it's so beautiful and it fits right i don't know if it fits right for this room because it has to be like very small but it fits and then we can get like this chair in the right color that would be cute i don't know if we can get a fireplace 500 that's just too much it would be so cute if we could afford one like isn't that beautiful we have twenty thousand dollars so i think we have more than enough money i don't know if we should get like a second 
second chair. But also this chair just doesn't fit right with the fireplace. Also, I think it should be scooted in one. So maybe it fits like this. I don't know if a coffee table is going to work because that's very tight, but that does look nice to have one. So maybe. And then I guess we can get started in the kids room. Why don't the kinder maid beds come in like bunk beds? Like if it did, that would be so cute. Honestly, I'm going to see if I can make that work. Maybe I can put like this kinder maid bed under the base game bunk bed, which is 300. Or I could try like the dream home decorator one because that is also cute. Ooh, yellow. I mean, this is orange, but it's also yellow. So we could do like blue, yellow, and orange. Oh, maybe this will work because it has like the blue and the orange. So we can do the same color scheme, just this bed. And here's the thing. I don't really use bunk beds because I just don't think I like them. Like if I could place this this way, I definitely would. But you can't put anything under there. So like if I put a nightstand, they won't be able to use it. And that bothers me because it makes no sense. So I guess I just won't. And then it would be nice if they had a rug. This is from high school years. It's $50. Ooh, it has stripes. I kind of love how that is colorful. I think colorful is good, but I also don't know if I like it in here. I mean, we could try it. Let's try to make that work. And then for the wallpaper, there's like this orange and yellow one. And we could do like a blue accent wall. Maybe the accent wall can go on the window. And then we can do like the yellow curtains. And honestly, this room is actually looking good. And then I'm just going to be jumping around. I feel like this is the type of build where you have to jump around if you want to like use the money correctly. I don't want to like spend all my money in the child's bedroom. So I'm going to get like the important stuff or like the basic stuff that would be nice to have in each of these rooms. So I would like a nightstand or a rug. I could do space theme. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the polka dots. I could do dinosaur. I feel like the dinosaur wallpaper from base game is expensive. Yeah, this is $8. Yikes. 128 is not bad. We have money. These curtains are $200, but I really would love to use them. Like that looks so good, right? Maybe we'll just splurge on that. Well, the infant doesn't really need anything. Like it would be nice to have a changing table, but we don't have to have that. And then for the parents' bedroom, I kind of want to splurge on a bed. It's just, I don't want to do this whole room inspired by this bed and then realize, oh, I have enough money to like change the bed and then like it may not match. Honestly, I kind of wanted to use this one, but it's 8,000. That is too good in a home like this. But don't you think like this, that color matches? Okay, I made a mistake. I'm gonna try it. It's better to go bigger um at first. So that way, if you can't afford it, you already have it, you know? And then we just need like a wallpaper. Ooh, I kind of like the peachy wallpaper, but like that's not really screaming adult. I don't really care. This can be for an adult, you know? Like you make your own choices. So if this is like adult to you, it can be. I did use this very expensive wallpaper. It's the pretty but plain one. And that is eight simoleons. So not the best. I feel like I should change the wallpaper. Hopefully I can find a cheaper one that matches the color a little bit better. Because this one is just a little too bright. Like, oh, this one is better for sure. And then I will work on the bathroom a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. That has like the orange color. But it also has like purple and blue. Ooh. I could use this. That brings in more of like the orange color, which I do like. Like that's so cute. And then I guess maybe they can be blue and just put in the corner. So now in the bathroom, I would like to get some tile. This might be a pretty backsplash for the kitchen. We also have like the white version, but I was thinking of this one. I mean, it's not exact. I also was thinking of this one and you can't see this behind the counters, but for this bathroom, you can. And I don't like that it's gray. Oh, maybe this would be good. And then maybe we can get like a matching tile. That's really cute. And then I guess it would be nice to work on the outside a little bit. I will use debug probably, so it's not that important. But I'm kind of thinking like, would I like to have columns on each end? Because this could help bring out the white in the window. Or maybe it would be better to use this one. So I just spent a lot of money on columns. Also, I need a wallpaper for the living room. So I could use this as like the accent wall. Oh, that is so pretty. So what room do we want to prioritize in furnishing? Because we only have $10,000 left. Maybe I'll start in the toddler's room. 
So they can have Blarfy and also all the kids are sharing toys. You know, they can come in here and play with the Blarfy. And if I put like a dollhouse in here, the toddlers can play with that. The toddlers would probably need some blocks. I'll get like a toy box over here and then I can get like a nightstand in the middle and then I can get like a fox lamp. Ooh, that's a nice color. And then I'm gonna put my new window right here. I don't think I should probably spend my money on more curtains, but that's what I'm doing. And then above the infant bed, I would love to get these photos and I'll get them in the green. Like that's beautiful. And then maybe we can get like a little height chart. It would also be nice to have a desk. It definitely won't work in the parents' bedroom unless I scooted this over, which honestly is not a bad thing because they can just scoot into bed. And if you want them to woohoo, they can woohoo in the shower. And also there's a baby in here, so you probably shouldn't woohoo at all. I'm just gonna have it clip with the curtains. So I got these cute books. I would love to get an easel, just something you can skill build with. That could go outside. And then I was also thinking about a dresser. I love this dresser. It has the right color, okay? So maybe I'll put the infant closer to the bed. Okay, so that room is cute so far. Now I should work on this a little bit. So for the kids, it would be nice to have like an activity like the science table. I'm hoping this works because I could just move the door over. It could be nice to have a violin. An activity table would be nice. So this is 135. I'll put it as soon as you walk in and then I can get like a little dresser. Ooh, maybe they can have like a cat mirror. And then I also feel like I want another window. Maybe I'll try to clutter up the living room in the kitchen a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna put this in the kids room first. So this is 130. And then I think they're gonna like cook on that counter. And I think that's it. And then I wanna get these blinds from my first pet stuff. It actually doesn't come in the right colors. Maybe that color is fine. And then I think we need to have more things going on in the living room. Honestly, for the infant, I mean, it would be good if they could do tummy time. So I'll just put this in the corner over here. I feel like that looks weird, but it's just the way like, I wanna use this chair so bad. I just don't think it fits that well. I just don't think it fits. We could probably use this plant in the bathroom. Then I'll put this plant next to the fireplace. I would love to get this on the fireplace, but it does not slot there. So I'm gonna have to get a shelf to place it there actually. It would be cool to have a TV. This one is a thousand simoleons. Crazy, but I guess we can use it. But we have $4,000 left, so that's good. Maybe we could get like a painting of an apple. Cute little apple painting on the mantle. We can put some glasses on the coffee table. And honestly, it would be nice to have a cookie jar. Cookie jars are nice. And that is good. Also, I have to delete these. And it would probably be good to have another curtain piece. And then moving on to the bathroom, we have this plant. I hate this sink, so I'm gonna get a different one. Even though the toilet is not my favorite, but the sink is just ugly. Like, what is that? We could use this one from Parenthood. We can get this mirror, this toilet paper holder, this hand towel, toothbrush, and soap. Actually, I want to alt place it because part of the sink always clips. I don't like that it does that. It would be nice to have a rug when you walk out of the shower. And also, we need another blind. And then I'll change this to green. I mean, I always put these in like the toddler's room. So maybe I'll just do that because I don't like it in the bathroom. So that's cute. And part of me is like questioning. Like, I'm pretty sure they can walk over that. Or not walk over it, but they can get around. So maybe the blocks can go in here instead because I just didn't like the look of the playmat in the living room but I'm kind of trying to think like what else could I put in here it would be nice to have like a dining table but like will it fit I guess they could walk over this like they should be able to I mean I would expect them to at least can get like a little flower and I almost forgot it would be nice to have a fire alarm and an AC and then I would love to put a painting above this wall this is 455 so maybe I'll use this and maybe I can get like a cross stitching basket oh also a porch light. Maybe I'll get it in black. I don't think I like the gold. And then honestly, if you buy this house with eight sims, I don't know why you would be like starting off with eight sims. Maybe for the challenge, but you can like paint to make money. You could probably garden. These are $10 each and you can plant anything in these. So maybe that's what I'll put. I know I said I didn't think they were going to have a backyard, but I was wrong. Well, actually I was right. They don't have a backyard. They have a side yard. Oh, the fence is going to like take up all my money. I'm literally 
literally spending all my money on this hedge fence, but that's okay. Maybe I'll place it like this. Maybe that's better. I'm thinking we could have like a grill in an outdoor eating area, except the grills I want to use are expensive. I mean, this one doesn't fit the color scheme, but it's cute. But I also want a table for them to eat at. I mean, there's not enough tables for them, but that's fine. And then for the easel, I kind of want to put it indoors. And I think that is all for the inside. And then I'll get like some terrain paint. And then we'll get like our debug landscaping. I do need a trash can. Oh, that took all my money. So good thing I remembered. I'll just put it behind here. I kind of wanted to like enclose this and put like a little arch. But that's not going to work anymore. I guess we can get our trees. I honestly feel like this wasn't so bad. I'd like the flower tree. I would love to use it more than once. Maybe I'll put the flower trees in the front. So that's cute in the front and then in the back we could get this tree because it matches. This one can be a little bit smaller. Ooh, this tree is pretty. I think that's the tree situation. Maybe I'll put the tree right here. That's so cute. And then I could get like a little pathway to connect here. Like that's pretty nice. Honestly, cottage living is like one of my favorite packs. Like this is a must. This is a must have. Well, I guess it depends on your gameplay style. So like if you don't garden a lot, maybe you don't need this. But like if you want to take care of the animals, that's good. And also farming or gardening is bugged. So you can't really play with that if you wanted to. I keep asking myself, are they going to fix it? And like, I guess maybe it's tricky, but like are they actually working on it is my question, I guess. Because like they can't work on every single bug because like there's a lot. Like I assume there's thousands of things on the forums. I don't know what flowers to put. I want to put yellow because yellow is- oh, I have a tree right there maybe i can move it over a little bit but like are these flowers good i guess i'm gonna like size one of them up just so they're a little bit bigger i think that's pretty i'm doing the same landscaping pretty much everywhere you can't even see this landscaping so maybe i'll just stick with just the bush honestly i would love to put like some mushrooms as well so maybe i'll add that in like i can get like some mushrooms right there so pretty oh i would love to get a welcome mat i wonder how much that is um also i don't have one of these bushes and i would like to put one i don't really like it you can get like this mixed in with the yellow flowers i think i like that also i need to see how much the welcome mat is oh it's just 30 simoleons so actually we're spending the exact amount which is great so unfortunately we cannot paint the ceiling but that is not a top priority but i think we did it it's 32,500 simoleons so like you don't really get any money left if you do buy it so like you're gonna have to like go fishing or something but i love Love it. I think it's so cute. I think we did a good job. I guess I can upload this to my gallery. So I called it the 8 Sim Starter Home. It has three bedrooms, one bathroom. So I'm gonna upload it to my gallery. If you want to download it, my gallery ID is just Sims Delicious. And unfortunately, it was not a pack limited build, but I've done worse. Like I'm telling you, I would have to like click this button three times, but instead I only have to click it once. So it's not too bad. And just so we remember, there's a garden pot in the front. This is the living room. We have a small kitchen space. We have an easel, a dining room, and then this is our bathroom. This is the children's bedroom. So they have a violin, an activity table, and a science table. This is the parents' bedroom. They have a computer. And then this is the toddler's and infant's area. So yeah, that's a pretty nice home, I would say. And then on the side, we just have our gardening patches, a grill, and a dining table. But I think I'm gonna leave this video off here. Um, Please excuse all the same that are in the front but if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys tomorrow bye